and low paper enthusiasts. This one also started out as a simple quick project and ended up being the biggest 3D origami wall art I have ever folded. On top of that it took up a lot of my free time for at least 2 months, but now it is finished and when I look at it I have no regrets. Stay with me and I show you everything, from start to finish. My name is Istvan and this is my channel Origami Around. First I will show you the steps of folding one single 3D triangular pyramid unit, but before that here are some of my previous origami wallers to pick your interest. There are slight differences in color paper type and even the unit, but what they all have in common is that making one is super easy. You just need a lot of time and patience to complete the whole project since you have to make a lot of them. Ok, first let's learn together how to make one single triangular pyramid unit. We start with the square. First step, fold both diagonals, dividing the sides. Now fold the corners to the center, all four corners in a row, one after another. Now turn your paper over. I'm going to pick one of the corners and fold the diagonal that divides the sides. We are basically folding it in half. When they fit perfectly from the outside, I reach inside and finalize the fold. Now I'm going to fold in all three corners in a row. I always start with the thick double one. You might want to use something pointy to push the corners in completely to make sure that they will stay inside, minimizing the chance of your unit falling apart later. Now I shape and straighten all three sides of the unit and it is done. Ok, so as always I try to find out who first came up with this design, but I think it's just so simple that whoever came up with it first didn't even think of trademarking it. However, I did find a truncated version of a triangular pyramid that is quite similar and it is registered as a Rubik's Cube stand by Joe Nakashima on his YouTube channel uploaded way back in 2010. I guess that's the earliest. Well, it doesn't have the flaps on the bottom and there are a few extra steps to make it concave, a truncated pyramid. I have also made a tutorial video for a truncated version a few years ago if you are interested. Links for both in the description. Ok, now back to the easy and simple version. The steps of which I have shown you in this form were first recorded by Stefan Gigande, owner of the Origami Plus Tutorials channel uploaded in 2017. An important difference is that he shows how to attach the units together without using glue, which I simply just skipped, because pure origami just doesn't excite me to be honest. I'm more interested in the end result, in making it beautiful and aesthetic. How I get there is secondary to me. Ok, so since 2017 many people have made a very same tutorial for YouTube, but nowhere do they refer to the original creator of the design. Shame on you. As always, I browse to Gilad's origami page, the best origami design that the base ever existed, but this time I didn't find anything there either. If you have more specific information, please write a comment or drop me a message. As always, there are links to all the tutorials and resources mentioned in the video in the description below. Another tutorial coming right up. Because there is one more thing to show you, a doubled version. Maybe some of you will like it better. We start with the square again. First, I fold it in half. Now I fold both sides to the center line. I also fold it in half along the other bisecting diagonal. Now fold both sides back to the center line. Fold these corners to the middle line like this, creating an X shape. This will be the peak of one of the triangular pyramids. I rotate it and repeat the same steps, this will be our other triangular pyramid. Yeah. 
now I fold one side out and tuck the other side in like this. Then fold it back in. I usually fold these little flaps back because they tend to stick out a bit and therefore the finished double pyramid may not lie flat. Now I repeat the tucking on the other side too. I shape it a bit to make the baseline straight on all sides. And it is done. You can see that with this double pyramid there is less room for color combinations because you can't make a checkered pattern with it. And not all the corners will be nice and sharp, the middle part will be a bit rounded. But on the other hand it is much faster if you make them like this. Something for something. The oldest and only reference source for the double pyramid I could find is this video, which credits David Wires aka David Donahue as the inventor of the design. It also refers to it as a place card holder in the description. And now we know everything about the triangular pyramid unit and its variations. Like I said, it is simple as a button, but you need to fold a lot of them to get impressive results. But why have I been folding so many again? It all started when I told a friendly colleague of mine at the library that I would make a warlord piece for her one day. I obviously do not spend a lot of time doing things for just anyone, but Francesca is the kind of colleague you can always count on. And she has already helped me out many times in the past, so I promised her about a year ago that I will make a 3D wall art for her. Yeah, like at least a year ago, so now it was really about time to make it. All she asked for was to make it a yellow and black combination. However, I wanted to twist that a bit and started combining different shades of yellow with the black units. I tried several variations until I settled on this one. Voila! Gift ready! My brand new logo sticker can go on the back. A thousand thanks to Alexandra, my biggest fan and one of my dearest friends. For your information, she surprised me with these stickers on my birthday. I love ya! But how did I get the ID for the giant wall art? Firstly, during the project I realized how many different shades of yellow paper I had in stock. Secondly, I started to like the color gradient I could make with them. And thirdly, I remembered again how many things I make as gifts, so I hardly have any finished work to display at home. So, when I went to buy a picture frame, I also bought this huge one and decided to make the biggest 3D wall art I have ever created. And this time to none other than myself. I measured everything, checked how many units would fit comfortably in a row, etc. I imagined several variations and finally settled on what I wanted. 51 orange, 51 darker yellow, 51 regular yellow and 51 faded yellow, so 204 pieces of triangular pyramid units were needed. Oh, I know you already, I know what you are going to ask now. How long did it take? Roughly speaking, it must take at least a week to fold, design, measure, glue, etc. all these pieces. But with a daily 8 hour job, friends, family and other everyday things it is different. If I add up everything, the many procrastinations, the buying of materials, the video shootings, the photo shoots, the cutting of the paper to size. So this project of mine took at least 2 months. I spent a lot of time during my Christmas break to finally finish it. I managed to watch all the Loki episodes and 2 seasons of Mr. Robot during the folding process. Just to make it easier to imagine how long did it take. Now, let me give you a tip, because it really worked for me, I have tried something new when I glued the pieces. Instead of putting my favorite white glue directly on the units, I put some on a washable plastic sheet, diluted it with a few drops of water and just dipped the bottom of the units in it. Not only did this minimize the glue spills, I also used less glue, it was quicker and it covered the edges of the units much more evenly. Hooray! Of course, accidents did happen when I dropped the units face first into the glue. I had to have a few spare units just in case, obviously. Drumrolls please, because here is the finished piece, the biggest 3D wall art project I have ever made. And it is mounted in a 53 by 43 cm frame, by the way. I don't know where I'm going to put it in the flat yet, it is not flawless, I know, and it bothers me a little. It has some minor imperfections, because the bigger you make it, the more room for error. A single millimeter of difference per unit over such long lines adds up. But you know, practice makes perfect and I'm sure the next one will be better. 
but all in all i really like it and it's quite nice to look at it that's the sense of creation that's why we do it so you can stop for a moment and say yes i did this if you enjoyed this video please support me with a like and consider subscribing to the channel you can also support me on Patreon or on Coffee if you have the opportunity. On Patreon, I also share behind the scenes and work in progress photos and early access extra content from time to time. Use the hashtag Gorigamiran if you make any of my designs as I love to share them on Instagram as stories and highlights to give your pages a shout out. Thanks for watching, have fun folding. Goodbye.